Hello and welcome to the po- the the, the, <laughs> the world through electrostatic. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I right. like it. I like the, it. The world through electro sex. <laughs> uh, welcome to the world through electro sex post show. I'm Caleb, and I am Pete. Yeah, this is the post show for episode three. I don't really think it matters that much which episode the post show goes to, but whatever. Yeah. So uh, let's just go ahead and play the game we played last time uh, because okay. I have all not right, fa- right. I have not found a new game to play. But this time we'll switch roles. Okay. So you come up with the premise. I will be the un- I will be all unfortunately, right. and you can be fortunately. Okay. Okay. So, okay. You, so I have you start to us off. Have to come up with a a premise. That's kind of a good thing. One would hope, or not really. Not necessarily. You said it doesn't matter either okay. way. It could be positive or All negative. Right. But I always have to make it negative. You always have to make it positive. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. So go. What? Kick us what? off. What? Okay. Oh, good God! On the spot. Okay. I had to mix up um, on the spot too. All right. So um, so. So, so, so you're just leaving a, um, a sporting event. I am. You are. Per, me personally. You, you, oh gosh, you. Yeah. Okay. No, that might get too personal. No, it's All not right. you. Yeah. No, Somebody, a person. You. I'm no good at this. Just go. Just a go. person is leaving a sporting event. Yes. But it's not you, right? Okay. okay. So, um, a person is just leaving a, uh, a, a music concert that they just attended. Okay. Right. And uh, they've they've already followed the masses down the stairs, around the corner, down the slope, and over to the door. Got out through the door somehow, you know, with masses of people, and they're walking. Okay. And um, you have to pass wind, and you leaned over to your friend, and you said to that friend, "Man, I really gotta let one rip." Okay. And that's where you're leaving it. Yeah. So, person is leaving a concert. And they have to fart. <laughs> Basically. That's the- <laughs> but you're in a big mass of crowd and you've been holding it the entire time and you're finally at the exit doors. So And you lean over to your, you you know, not you. But that person leans over to their friend and like, man, I really I really have to pass win. gas. Yeah. Okay. I really have to fart. Uh so unfortunately they had some sketchy Mexican food for lunch and Ooh. he doesn't know if it's gonna be just yeah. passing wind, or if he's gonna have some Hershey squirts going on, we don't know. So, oh yeah, that's <laughs> unfortunately it's a little bit of a gamble. Unfortunately, that that is a gamble. Yeah. Um, but fortunately, fortunately though, the friend that's with him realizes that uh, he's got an extra pair of shorts in the car just in case it is. <laughs> unfortunately, they can't remember where they parked. Oh. <laughs> True, but fortunately, fortunately, they you know in their in their path of searching, mm-hmm. they end up uh, going down through this alley, and there's a dumpster out back. But apparently, some homeless guy has left all his clothes out there, and he decides that well, you know what, uh, we at least have got something to change into. I am going to totally do this, and he lets one go. <laughs> unfortunately, he craps his pants, <laughs> and in the process of changing his clothes, oh, no. the hobo comes back. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so what's what's going to be for, the only thing that can be fortunate about that is the hobo is too old and withered to chase him down or anything. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take this down a really sad note, oh. a really sad road. Unfortunately, he realizes this old withered hobo is just his his old retired grandfather who's losing his mind a little bit. He's he's got Alzheimer's. <laughs> And it's and it's already too late because he's crapped his old clothes and taken yep. his grandfather's clothes. So, the summary of the story is: <laughs> there needs to be a way to put that onto a positive, happy note at the end. At least our last one ended on a sweet. That's note. That's up to you. If you want to end it on a sweet note, go ahead. Yeah. I I ended that on a bad note. You did. So to summarize, so. so far you're leaving a sporting event. Yeah. You have to go to the bathroom. Right. Fortunately, he has an extra pair of underwear in the car, but. Can't find can't figure out where they the car is. The car, but yeah. when they go down a alleyway, they find a pair of clothes next to a dumpster. So he lets it rip. Unfortunately, he does end up crapping his pants. Yeah. But in the Jeez. and in the process of changing his clothes, an old the hobo comes back to find his clothes does, being put yeah. on by a guy who's crapped his pants, and it ends up being an old man who can't remember anything. But that ends up being his own grandfather. Right. But fortunately. Mm-hmm. Passing the alleyway as this was all going down mm-hmm. was 
the city police. And the city okay. police car, you know, notices this, pulls down the alley. Get, woo, right? There go the lights. Everything's flashing. Whoop, whoop. Exactly. Hold it right there, you know. And uh, everyone just does that, you know. <laughs> yeah. It freezes solid. And uh, what it ends up being that the guys that left the concert, well, that was their cousin, the policeman, you know. Okay. And they recognize the old man and they recognize him and they're like, wow, this is a really shitty predicament you yeah. guys are in. Ah, <laughs> we're ending it on another pun. So he takes him back and and gets him to the station and they get a shower and a fresh change of clothes. <sighs> okay. So that is that is a positive note to end on. Yeah. It, with a pun. Yeah. But we're ending it on another crappy what a, pun. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just a shitty predicament. Yep. All right. There, well, there you have it. I guess that's it. That's good enough for me. That, that works for me too. You know? I don't know. Oh man, that would suck. That whole situation just kind of sucks, no matter how you paint it. Could you? Oh, that was a bad not, way to word that. Yeah. Painting it. Ugh. Could you imagine though, standing there for whatever how much time it takes to realize that you've got to get these clothes off and get into something fresh? The moment where you're like, you've got to question. <sighs> you've got to kind of question your life choices, though. If you find yourself in a scenario where you're standing in an alleyway next to a dumpster, you're covered in your own crap. Your grandfather's standing there naked. You're wearing half of whoa, his whoa, whoa, clothes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How did he get naked? Well, where did his clothes come from? Well, he had clothes when he showed up. Didn't he? I mean, most homeless no, folks I'm are Im- wearing something. I'm imagining if your grandfather's old and has Alzheimer's <laughs> and he's crazy enough to be outside running around by right. himself. That's and why the clothes anything, were there. The because, clothes are probably by the dumpster because right. he's running around naked. And seeing as a family member, there and then is a police DNA officer that, shows you know, up, and that yeah, police yeah, officer happens fit. to be your cousin. <sighs> you got to like step back from that situation and look at it and just go, what? What am I doing with my life? <laughs> You know, <laughs> what have I done? Going to a rock show. Yeah. yeah, that's just that's just what rock and roll does to you. Rock. That's the moral of the there story, kids. No, rock and roll is the devil's music. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll shit on you. Yeah. Well, no, you'll, no. And, uh, unless you're going. It's your own. Right. Unless it's the Phantom of the Park, then it's something else. The Phantom of the Park. All right. Yeah. We, need to, we need to call this quits. Right. Thanks, everybody, for subscribing on Patreon. I appreciate it. We, re- we both appreciate it. Sure I and, do. And uh, what? That was sincere, right? Yeah. Sure I do. Yeah. We appreciate it. All uh, right. <laughs> uh, thanks everybody for listening. We uh, we'll be back in the next episode. Oh, I don't have to turn any audio off. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>